M0FXB, welcome to my channel. Just a quick one on JSA Call, if you haven't heard of it. Um, I'll read what it says in this paragraph. The idea with JSA Call is to take the robustness of FT8 mode and layer on a measuring and network protocol for weak signal communication with HF with a keyboard to keyboard interface. JSA Call is heavily inspired by WSJTX. FL Digi and FSQ Core and would not exist without the hard work and dedication of many developers in the amateur radio community. So that's what it's about. It's, it's like FT8, but you can type messages to each other. So I've set it all up on the um, 7300 there. You can see it flashing away. I'm just going to go through the settings that are on JS8 Core's page. So uh, the device manager section there. Once you've installed the, the latest um, USB driver for the 7300, which is I think is the 1.30 version, you will end up with uh, this, this in your ports. So look in your device manager by right-clicking on the window and clicking device manager, and you'll end up with a port section here. Double-click ports, and there it is there. And it happens to be on COM3 for me. Maybe not for you, but that's the one. So once you know that's working, <coughs> um, then connect the radio. Uh, these are the settings. Once you've run the, oh, I'll let you know where to get the, this is where you download and install the JSA core. And if you're Windows, it's here. I'll put a link in the description for you. And I'll show you what it actually looks like when it's up and running. So it's running right now. Um, so we'll come back to this, but this is what it looks like when it's running and receiving, receiving here green status there and then you send it here so uh, RXTX spot so I'm just showing you the basics really and let's go back to the setup for the this is for the ICOM 7300 so which is in the background there so look in the radio settings select the com same as the device manager all these default these are on none cat is here uh, so everything looks 0.2 s there. So everything looks fine. Scroll down. Select like you do with FT8 microphone USB codec and speakers USB codec on the output. Everything the same as you can see here. Go into your 7300 and go through the menu. Now they're listed here, but you, if you look here, they've actually got photographs of what it looks like. So have a good look. Uh, here, pause it if you have to. So connectors section there. Just scroll through all the different settings. Data mod, connectors, connectors. And that's it. Once you've got all that set, I've tested it. It definitely works. Your USB driver download is here. So I'll, I'll chuck that in as well on the, in the links. So everything's here. So let's go back to the actual program. Now, I'm not getting much activity myself, but to change bands, you just click the frequency here and go to, say, 40. And as people, you know, as you're receiving JS8 call, you'll get messages come here of all the activity. And then you type a message here, like so. And then you click, when you've typed it, click send, and you can halt it here. So we can click info. Yeah, just give me an error on info. So like I said, I haven't really used it yet. A couple of errors there. Probably need to jig around with my uh, USB setting a bit. But I've just showed you what it is, what it's about, sending. So uh, let me know any tips on the, on the configuration. We'll go file, settings. Here's mine. Here's general with my call sign. My grid, it's got CQ here. Tell me if I've done anything wrong. Radio, 7300, cat, none, none. These are my settings. PTT, audio, there's a USB codec selected. Hopefully I've got that right. Output speaker, I'm guessing that's just for my, so I can listen to the sound. Now maybe, that's, maybe that should be there. Maybe. Um, reporting, yeah, normally we link that, don't we, to our, uh, uh, what's it called, grid tracker. Frequencies, save messages. So I'll have a proper, when I actually start using it regular and get a feel for it, I'll, let, I'll do another video. 
But at the moment, I don't think I can transmit that great. Hello, let's click hello, click send. Oh, it has. It hasn't gone into error. So maybe, yeah, I can see my, if you can see, oh, it has gone into error, but it doesn't matter for now. Let me know if I've done anything wrong. I just thought I'd post this video for now, uh, just so you get an idea that I'm starting to play with uh, JS8 Core. So we'll hold that for now. 7-3, all the best.